What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. And so to remind you where we left off last time, um, I've walked into the sights of all of these Spanish troops, well most of these Spanish troops, down here at Gibraltar. So this may or may not be a bridge battle, we're on the bridge but, well, you know, Empire can be a bit unpredictable. Um, and the name of the game will be, we, we will probably not win. The sheer amount of cavalry they've got. I mean, I've got a good component here. But they have a lot of cavalry coming in. Which can do lots of damage to my armies. Including these four units can't even form square. Uh, and... Yeah, the last army is the dangerous one. Because that's when they start to bring in artillery and more elite infantry. And we start to run out. Um, but let's try and do some damage to them. Um, we've seen that we can attack Lisbon. And they don't move their troops away. So, at the very least, if I can damage these armies, then, you know, I'll, I will accept that as an outcome. And then, as they are... Well, depending on how much we, we damage them, we could cross over the strait uh, from Morocco into Gibraltar. We also do have an, we do have an army marching near Madrid, uh, but I think the peninsula requires a lot of... Ooh, okay. Hmm. Terrain's a bit dodgy. I like this hill. This hill has got to be it. So. So let's take these weak units. Keep them separate for now. That Swiss line unit is strong enough to go. <laughs> strong enough to hold. So let's get my two, okay, two African units in the center. So I'm planning a formation in my head. I am anticipating. I am anticipating that I don't get a chance to actually. Well, I did, all this here. This is this is this is okay, but we'd have to be primarily station uh, defensive here. But I want to try and take this hill. So I have a strong cavalry component. So let's get. My guns are marching up here pretty rapidly. Where's my... So my African native infantry is going in the center to get maximum support from the guns. Uh, and these guys are going to take up defensive positions on either flank. I mean, we could get screwed over when redeployment kicks in. But I'll accept that as and when. So then these weak units, for it will off, form a mobile reserve. Cavalry, because they don't seem to be pushing. Let's keep some cavalry on our right flank. Let's move these two fellas over to the left. So if I can get my gun set up on this hill, we can do a lot of damage to this first army because they don't actually have artillery. And if they push us on the hill, we will hold quite a commanding position. So you have lots of provincial cavalry. Carabineros Real, so these are Dragoon cavalry. They can be frustrating to lose uh, armed cavalry against. But these units are going to be... I don't know quite where I want them. I'm okay with running them, but I, I like I like this position. General, take position in the center. Make sure you guys have guard mode on, because they looked like the cavalry was going to come at us. So you men unlimber. Let's get our artillery to shift. Oh no. Okay, these guys are okay. Okay, so we've got provincial cavalry on that on the left. Okay, here we go. Brunswick of Dragoons intercept, heavy cavalry intercept, light cavalry go out on the flank to try and surround and engulf them. You guys just pound that foot guard unit, you guys pound that foot line infantry unit. Nope, okay, they've peeled off. Let's let my artillery do some good work.
those guys are going to get a volley from the Swiss Grenadiers. So let's turn fire well off there. Light cavalry in to take their initial volley. So these guys are fire well off. Let's get my heavy cavalry in to fight as well. And let's get my Brunswick Dragoons out on the flank a bit more. No, don't bombard the general. That's a bit of a fruitless task. So these guys are skirmish cav. So let's get ready to start blasting them with canister because I don't want to lose easy true easy. You don't, I don't want to lose men too easy. So let's get these cavalry back out on the flank again. You guys fire it well on. Okay, you are within range to start firing, so my, my plan is that I can use these guys to have uh, support of the gunners. Okay, these guys are probably going to do this. And limber, push the cavalry up. Okay, looks like even though this infantry is weak, this flank's going to be where I need it. You guys focus on the guns, you guys keep firing against the carabiners. You guys form fire square at the 18th regiment. Okay, this entire line is going to advance to get keep firing. You are going to advance up as well. You guys are also going to pivot. large cavalry fight here so my colonial light are going in my heavy cavalry going in my brunswickers go around on the flank okay let's start to focus more of my artillery there you guys take positions to shoot into the flank of the 8th regiment Push the cavalry up to harry the flanks of their formation. Hopefully this cav this cavalry action... Well, I do have heavy cavalry in the mix. Should be doing sterling work. There we go, so now these units are going to begin to open fire against the Royal Halberdier's Guard. Uh-oh. Melee troops. That's not great. These are not the troops I want to be sending into melee against a guard unit. We've got a couple of routes. Ooh, they charged my gunners and actually were successful. Ah, you hit the general's bodyguard. You accidentally charged their line infantry. That's pretty good. You open fire on the 16th. My Brunswick Dragoons are going to get out of here. My heavy cavalry will be enough to fight them. I just need to get my cavalry out to do a bit more damage. That's unfortunate. So yeah, you guys attack the general's bodyguard. Get the heavy cavalry to fall back. We killed their general. Brunswick and Dragoons, get in here. Those are foot guards as well. That's not... You're going to have to avoid these guys and go for the halberdiers guards so that's going to be a bit of a, a bit tight because their morale is going to be good my heavy cow my light cover on the right is broken okay right so that's where one unit of reinforcements is coming in so you men form up somewhere a bit more secure, get my heavy cavalry back, get my light cavalry back. Don't like the look of this flank one bit. Because the Halberdier's guard is going to be able to put up 
quite the fight, so I might even have to fall back to another defensive position. You engage the 14th. You guys hit the foot guard, some heavy cavalry. Some of these, ca these Spanish cavalry think they're winning. The trick will be withstanding the initial blow. You're only catching the top of those chaps. That's not... Okay, fall you guys. Actually, charge you guys back into the Halberdier's guard. My native infantry and my Swiss guard are actually doing quite a valiant job in holding on. Let's get my heavy cavalry into this fight as well. Swiss guard have broken. Okay, this fight is... Okay, you guys... Heavy cavalry keep fighting the cavalry. Brunswick of Dragoons get them to fall back. This that action's lost there. You guys open up on the 14th at point blank range. You're getting chased at by enemy cavalry. So you men continue to engage. Walloon guards at point blank range. Try hit them with my cavalry. You guys hit the hit this cavalry. Gotta watch out for those halberdier guards. They're not going to be our friends. Okay, let's redeploy my heavy cavalry to hit that general. Heavy cavalry hunker down. You engage the new threat. Looks like you need to kill the Walloon guard. That's one provincial cavalry unit killed. The heavy, their um, melee infantry is coming in. Let's commit the general into the action somehow. Good, the halberdier guard are, are retreating. Well, they were, they were retreating. Let's keep my cavalry moving. Walloon Guard have been pushed back. You hit the 8th Regiment because this flank is going to need a lot of help. Let's pivot you guys like so. Just pivot, pivot all of you. Bring the Heavy Cavalry back in. Oh, those are Foot Guards. Okay, right. Keep my cavalry mobile, I don't want them to get caught by... I mean, their cavalry will catch them, I just want to fight their cavalry. Keep my general safe, actually. Their cavalry will catch them, I don't mind their cavalry doing it, I just don't want their... Spanish bandoleros. Actually, no, don't send any cavalry that far. Because that will send too many men, too close, too many cavalry, too close to their reinforcement point. So you engage the 14th. You guys are fighting against the 9th foot guards alone. So these guys are fighting a running battle against the provisional cavalry in order to hopefully make them rout. Brunswick and Dragoons, even though they have an order to charge the Provincial Cavalry, have charged the Halberdier Guard, which is not what we want at all. Okay, lots of cavalry coming in on that flank now, so I probably do want to go back to this arrangement, because that's a lot of Spanish troops coming in on the right flank. So you guys are massing against the Militia. Heavy Cavalry is doing good work against the Provincial Cavalry. The Halberdier Guard are chasing down my general. You chase down the 20th. You men chase, charge into the back of the Royal Halberdier Guard now because they are exhausted. I definitely want to get my 
general out. Go on, charge them. Chumbers, their heavy kit, their he their halberd, their heavy uh, infantry is still, from a morale standpoint, quite strong. So if my cavalry can knock out their militia, if you guys can knock out the ninth foot guards, bring my heavies around. You guys charge the ninth. Keep my cavalry out of the way. The left flank. What have we got? Provincial Cav, Mounted Bandits, you guys engage. I want to try to keep my cavalry behind the hill. Well, don't cease fire, but I want to pivot you guys like this to engage the 8th. And ideally, try and make... Try hammer an anvil these guys a bit. I mean, I'm not going to be able to do that realistically for very long. Yeah. Let's try and knock out that militia unit because they're tying up my ability to do what I need to do. New men push up to the carabiners. Still do damage. Okay, now get these guys to fire. Uh, get these guys to reload. Get my militia back to safety. Keep chasing the, keep attacking the militia. Excellent. Try to get my cavalry to retreat. You are attacking the line cavalry. You guys are going to limber up. Bring my cavalry up to bear. They're picking off my guys in a way I don't want them to. Lots of carabiners. pivot you guys over to face the new hell so you guys even though ooh, okay you guys might have to run up to the neck up to this bridge do some damage let's get my general over here to support the musket battle my brunswickers can also go with them you guys hit the bandoleros you guys hit the lion cavalry you guys stop firing Good, they've been cleared out. Don't deploy my cavalry. Oh, actually, I will charge them with my cavalry. We've taken out the bandoleros. Hit the line cavalry. These carabiners will be engaged by my infantry force. Good. You men are limber. So we are getting sporadic shots from their artillery now. So this gun on the hill, or well this new gun, your job is going to be counter battery against the 6th regiment. Recall the cavalry. I'm going to pouring fire into the 18th. 
I'm okay with the fourth staying there, because they're they're behind their little wall. I'm okay with that. So all of my artillery, focus fire, their guns. We have a bit of a defensive position now. I mean, they've definitely aimed at the wrong thing, because they've aimed at the carabiner, even though I've given them a new target. Yeah, they both have. So this artillery is very dangerous because we're very weak. We're weak as it is, but it means they will pick us off. Whereas from a, ca a cavalry perspective, we're actually fairly strong. So... Keep opening up against their troops. So these actually I might have to provoke yeah. I don't want to advance to provoke the fourth to come out. Again, they're still not shooting at what we want them to shoot at, in which case then fine. Shoot the things on the battlefield if you will not. Oh, that's an excellent artillery shot there. Their numbers fell. Oh, very nice. Both of you focus fire. Their infantry coming in. If they give us an opening, we will send in cavalry to try and knock them out. But then again, actually, are they actually they're making they're making hits. Well, they are making hits against us. Focusing on our cavalry. So let's spread them out wide of my infantry position with a bit of try and use a bit of cover. So we're focus firing the Irish Brigade. Yeah, don't want to touch the fourth. My heavy cavalry acting is a bit of a mobile reserve for this flank. Lots of dead Spaniards on the hill ahead of us. Always nice to see. My gunners are getting some good practice. So Spanish bandoleros. They're going to be engaged by musketry. Lost a, losing handfuls of men. It's the prevalency of their cavalry that's concerning. So the guy, the gun that's at the back, you, your job, pick at their light horse. Although, to be honest, it looks like we've got a bit of, uh, bit of an issue around guns functioning. You all seem to be okay. Yeah, you fire shots at the enemy, enemy light horse. Let's get you guys back actually. Back to the guns. You guys could shoot at them, but I'm actually going to fall you back so I can do a bit of consolidation. You now start blasting bandoleros with canister shot. You guys run. There we go, we caught a good number of these guys with canister. The general's bodyguard is within range. Let's get this gun to start to hit the Irish Brigade. As they advance, they are out of range. The general's bodyguard is engaging us. 
that's potentially not very good at all for us. I mean, if they stop firing, charging, that's great. That's right, knock out their general. You aim at the militia. Because the Hussars looks like they've changed their mind. Are you actually capable of hitting them that close with canister sharp? You must be, because you've made them waver. Send my cavalry force forward to intercept that skirmish unit. To our right. To our left, sorry. Brunswick and Dragoons are upset because they are the target of the enemy's fire. So that's our cavalry deployed. You are continuing to focus. Okay, the Hussars have retreated from the... Well, not retreated from the field, but they've fallen back. Okay, so they've got a free shot at my cavalry. Could have charged on, but their militia is, is creating problems, as is their other skirmish units. You guys are also getting skirmished. So really, these this flank of troops can push up to engage the guerrillas. Fire a round shot into the militia. There you go, so you men make ready to pour fire. Although actually I sh God alive. You men get out of here. You men get out of here. Try to get these guns out of gunners out of here. I'm just looking at my ammunition state is critical. So I am at the point where I need to start pulling units back and retreating in order to try and preserve some element of fighting power and that usually means guns first because guns are slow. Let's get my African units out of here first because they lack ammunition. But there's not much point. Oh god, you, you've, bare, you've got one volley in you. Get you men away. Fortunately, the edge of the map is just there, so... sacrifice of the heavy cavalry to buy us time to exit the field. Ultimately we yeah, our ammo situation is critical, so fourth horse guards. God, this guy's flying! Okay, you guys halt fire. These men withdraw. Send our cavalry in to hit the militia, because these guys are going to be... These guys are okay, actually. Yeah, that unit of heavy cavalry is going to be lost, but we do need... We do need to... Critically, it's to shield our artillery. So let's assume our cavalry wins. Thank God they pull their 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 um, light cavalry back. Otherwise, this would be a a problem, or more of a problem at least. But yeah, you you can retreat from the field and leave troops intact. And uh, I think I'm definitely making the right call. Uh, my mouse got overly sensitive. Let's move my general more to the centre of my line.
angle our front a bit more. At the very least, I'd ho I will have hoped I hope to have done some really good damage to their to their army. Oh, this colonial line's run out of ammo. Fall back, create a new defensive line. Just retreat towards the edge of the map. Because their artillery is still coming in. Like, yeah, we're not going to... If I've got no ammo, I'm not going to run my guys into a suicidal fight against overwhelming odds. I mean, like this unit could be positioned a bit more effectively, but I, I don't think that level of optimization is going to help. My heavy cavalry is going to get knocked out by the militia. So we could be nearing end times. Yeah. Double back. The Hussars are coming in. Get everyone out. Actually, if you guys have to, you will deploy into square to save my army. That's it. You men form square. <laughs> yeah, they will hit the square. So the 76th will hold the line. The third, get out of dodge. You have to sacrifice one army to bring the rest of my boys home. Get out of there, heavy cavalry. They managed to make the militia route while routing. That's pretty impressive. If they can push back the light horse, that would be great. But I suspect they will fall. Although they will exact a toll from these cavalry chaps. <laughs> yeah, they're masters of the field. There they go. 76th of routed. Still, I think we acquitted ourselves fairly well. We could have hung on, but uh, what would have been... What would have been the point where I could just fall back towards Lisbon and regroup? Yeah, it's not a lot of men there. So we lost 1,500. They killed 3,300. We, we killed 3,300. So we've damaged them quite badly. Let's get you men back to Evora. Let's combine some of these units. So then our... Well, you guys can't really f don't want to advance. You guys fall back towards Lisbon. This army's going to hold here to see if these are if these troops will push out of Madrid and try and do something sneaky. We don't really have any money to do much. And ooh, Hessian Jaeger. How many of them can we get? Ten. Why not? Let's get some Jaegers in Lisbon. Cool. Fifty-four thousand next turn. That's a lot of cash. We've got a whole bunch of money coming in. From trade. One thing I did not do. Actually, America's pretty low. Europe's relatively low. Yeah, that's okay. So research and tech. Next turn we get platoon firing. In two turns we get fire in advance. I'm not overly bothered about fire in advance. I and mean, it gives us that training plus one training level, which is which is really handy. And I suppose well, I guess because it's classic university, they're starting to or they're going to be limited on techs so they can research. But soon I am going to want to build the next level artillery buildings and army staff college to get down towards quicklime. But I think we're going to hit end turn. We're all marching up. Oh, we also need to send the armies in uh, in the Caribbean towards the Mar Maratha possessions. But it looks like Spain is happy to let us uh, march on Madrid. Well, I don't know if that's the right call. I'm tempted to bring them back to Lisbon, as Lisbon is especially vulnerable at the moment. Oh, the Ottomans are back. No doubt to probably scare the send troops my way. <laughs> yeah, they want to declare on me, but uh, they can't. 
so that's, that's all it takes. So I, I am going to want to keep building up my naval strength at the at the uh, Straits of Gibraltar. And then the Barbary States are going to Barbary. It's like a rite of passage. So, fifty-four thousand is the name is the name of the game. You men are going to replenish and get back to Lisbon, where you will be joined by. Uh, let's do one Swiss Grenadier and one Swiss Line. I can get pikes. I will get a pike unit actually because they're pretty useful. But I do want there. Yeah, I want more infantry to kind of bulk out this army because it it is a concern. Let's build an army staff college and let's build an ordnance board. I'm going to leave Somerset House for now because I do want to recruit. Don't want grenadiers. Where's my Commodore Garden line? Just to get ready to send them down to Lisbon for support. And I do want to march you guys. Do you want to just attack you? Takasendro Balboa draw in Agapito Moreno could march on Madrid, but like I said, well, how much danger are we in if these guys attack? A bit, because they've got do have grenadiers. Hmm. I think I would rather have this these guys back to help defend Lisbon. But before I do that, let's check out our towns. Our new towns. There you go. Keep the construction going. Let's roll out some better roads. Upgrade the sugar warehouse. And I am actually going to need to start converting... Well, let's upgrade this because uh, we're already doing it to Bristol. You know, turning it into a global trading company. Um, although Somerset House is also is a good buy in the end because you get that tax income bonus. I mean, repression's also also handy, but it's that tax income bonus that's actually what I really want. And down here, I'm going to pick up. So the Ottomans are building. Yeah, they're building top tier ships, so let's keep keep the ball rolling on upgrading our upgrading our um, armies. Flynn Gardner, you can receive two howitzers, two howitzers and two field artillery units ready for the eventual invasion of Gibraltar. So now we've done some reasonable damage. To some of these guys, they've all been um, damaged a bit. And then we are going to want to go over to the Americas, pick up our spy. Uh, no, you're not looking for shipping. You're going to sneak over to Europe. Then. Let's take. Okay, first of all, let's take this fourth rate over to Cuba. Can Timothy Sutton's force leave Cuba? It can indeed. Make sure they are being taxed. Land our troops ready to take Nassau. Let's leave them out of this port for now. We do have a few armies to move. This fourth rate is going to go over to Santo Domingo. We're just going to pick up Elias Haskett's force. We can leave them safely. You're going to sail for Martinique. We could theoretically attack them in one turn, but I'm not immediately bothered about attack, making sure I maximize my gains. Let's take this fifth rate down to Curacao. This force down here under Horace Davison is probably going to leave Curacao, get aboard this ship, and then come back to Europe. So 
So let's take these ships that currently serve no real purpose. Well, they are my Caribbean fleet, but let's do some pirating. Because there is a handful of... There's a bit of trade going to the Marathas. Lots of good upgrades being built. Lots of solid economy upgrades as well. That's what I really like to see. So we do have platoon firing. Cambridge is not going to research. Short and carbines, you are going to research. Probably power loom. Just for the straight bonuses from wealth. Straight wealth bonuses from industry. Good stuff. So you are going to come back here and you're going to hit Isandro de Balboa to <laughs> to cause some damage to the Spanish north of Lisbon. So by destroying this army, which is the stronger one, if the weaker one pushes on Lisbon, we've got more opportunity to take them out. We could push, we could have pushed on Madrid, but I'd rather solidify my position around Lisbon first before pushing too aggressively. Plus, this army is actually pretty unbloodied, so, uh, you know, giving them some action before they start actually, uh, before they start causing trouble might be a good idea. So one thing we are going to do quickly, which I want to do, every, which I want to do a lot more often than I normally do, actually, well, I do. I think I do. So what I'm talking about is looking at units a bit closer. And I tend to do that when I've recruited new units. Because you guys don't really need to see the Harkers up close unless they're firing. Obviously we've got our Marines, the auction number ones. So obviously these are in blue uniforms rather than the early Marines, which are in their stout red. Oh, and we obviously we've seen all the line infantry, but this unit, the Scottish Highlander Independent Regiment, is a new unit. And I'm going to position the Highlander Warbands behind to show you some differences. So they are actually a unique unit. So the clansmen, so these guys are in, they are kilted, they've got, a, I think that's a sparren. Well, I don't know, that could just be some inside joke that makes me look a right idiot, but there we are. They do look authentically Scottish, sufficiently different from the clansmen. When they fight in the melee, they are fighting with swords. So the line. So this is a regular line infantry unit with zero experience. Highlander independents are better across the board. They are more accurate. They have more reloading skill, which, which means they reload faster. They carry more ammunition. They they are more. They do more damage in the melee slightly. They do a, a, a good chunk more in the charge on the charge they are defensively the same and they have a lot of morale so these guys are just better infantry compared to the scottish line infantry yeah again they're still it's just a flat improvement and the scottish infantry are not a uniform gain over the regular line they shoot slightly they're less accurate but they, they load faster and carry more ammo and their melee stats are a bit better except for defense but yeah, these guys are just a flat, they're just flat out better than regular line. Now oh, and then, because we do have this guy, he's my Field Marshal of Europe. And he has a range ring because they have pistols, which I don't know why you'd ever want to use. If you're being countercharged, maybe, or you're firing on the charge, that could be useful. But just keep your other guys out of the way, and they're probably... So they're not the same as Heavy Cavalry Unit. I think, I'm pretty sure those are unique uniforms, because I think the General's bodyguard units generally look more like this. The Field Marshal of Europe is just, it's pretty good. So he is, if anything, he's he's sturdier. He's Defence 19 for the Field Marshal of Europe. Heavy Cavalry is sturdy at Defence 16. But still, I'm, I'm chatting too much. So my artillery focusing on is focusing on their artillery. Regiment of horse is coming in. They're charging, but they are going to realise bad things will happen. My howitzers are firing at targets at will. So, there. 
So let's move. Well, let's begin to curl the flanks in. So they've been hit by... The 104th been hit by a regiment of horse. Actually, no staying square. You can provide some lateral support. You guys push up. Obviously, my field artillery is having an absolutely fantastic time engaging theirs. This regiment of dragoons is trying to support their comrades. Already fighting in the center. Our square did break. I managed to bump into some of my gunners. You guys don't shoot. You men push up because we do have a unit attempting to do some things, some bits and bobs. Keep my cavalry running around. Start to interfere with their artillery to the rear. I mean, when when their cavalry is like this, they're never going to break your square because they've lost all momentum and they're all largely outside your position. So we're engaging them. We've lost a handful of cavalrymen while we've tried to push around the flank. Our Highlander independents are in position, although it looks like they aimed at the cavalry on the retreat, which is why they're all reloading. So those are... Second Lightfoot Irish Regiment. There go the Dragoons, they're routing. I mean, we never expected those infantry to last too long. My heavy horse, my heavy howitzers are going to stop shooting. My heavy artillery is going to stop shooting. Then just get really, really offensive with everyone else. Aha! We have some scallywags. So my horse guards, my lifeguards are going to hit their shotgunners. You guys... No. I thought you guys might be blue. So blender by shotgunners could do some good damage, but... They aren't. We're going to stop our artillery from shooting, because what's the point? So the 8th foot guards, if they could take their position. Good man. Ah, oh, there's someone, there's a handful of guys reloading. Advance to point blank range. some grenadiers back here. Yeah, they were never going to last very long <laughs> against uh, these Highlanders firing. Got some smatterings of experience. Clansmen would be great in this musket fight right now. So, 12 foot guards are having to deal with, take a lot of punishment. The 102nd are really going to do some damage to the 4th Grenadier Regiment. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. There we go. Just get our cavalry to chase people down. Oh, there's... I was... There's a regiment of foot left. Well, I was about to say not anymore, but it looks like some of them have come back. To be honest, you guys actually just stop firing. Get my field marshal of Europe to chase down the routing men, the heavy cavalry have charged in. 
these grenadiers should not stick around for very long. Back to you men. Provide overwhelming support as to make their entire position untenable. Kill those shotgunners because there's only three of them left. You may as well kill them as they're all so close. Damn right, I'm going to continue. Field Marshal of Europe's having a field day. There we go. Good. Good. Do as much possible to these chaps, then you guys will refit. Hopefully, you won't take cost. Well, not refit. The people version. Replenish, that's the word. So the Irish regiment have split up, but these grenadiers have had a new one. Well, I'm tearing, tearing them a new one. But so having a new one torn for them, I thought that's a bit A, polite, and B, not quite the uh, visualisation I was going for. There we go. Keep taking them down. Come on. Only the second light foot. Oh, nearly. There's one guy back here. Ah. Oh, yes. Close victory. That's a very... That's, that's, that's over-egging that whole engagement somewhat. So we lost 300 men. Can you guys hit that wounded regiment? Yes. Let's also chase them down as well. Let's scatter these forces that have marched into northern Portugal. Granted, we are pushing them the complete wrong way, and they are going to uh, raid and do lots of very frustrating things. Um, but this is these are the sacrifices we will have to make in order to, to claim overall victory. All my artillery actually doesn't <laughs> didn't really get a huge amount of experience that battle. Almighty line advance cavalry on the flanks, yada yada, including my my general because now he's got two two experience points. Good stuff. Just let my artillery open up at whoever they choose. Right now, this is all a giant experience uh, gaining activity for them. Because horse artillery, range 900, firepower 210. God damn. Compare that to my <laughs> field howitzers. You know, they do 50% more damage. So there might be some hidden... Scallywags, hidden scoundrels. Spin our cavalry in. Ooh, Swiss pikes. Not falling for that one. But what it does mean is that these clansmen get over. All of my howitzers focus on that unit of Swiss pikes. Run my cavalry in. Field Marshal fire it will off. Yeah, there we go. The opening shot's been, have been fired. They've been fired at the cavalry in the dead ground. Carabinero Real. Bit late, but I am finally dropping them into square. You men charge the light cavalry, the line cavalry. You guys push the 42nd that's currently in an entrenched position. You guys advance. I mean, all my howitzers firing at the Swiss pikes doesn't really seem to be doing a lot of damage. Get 
my let's get my uh, get my uh, clansmen in. Pistols at the ready. Keep going. Get my cavalry out wide. Form square. You lost seven men. Let's push up my clansmen. Squares have been formed, which is great stuff. My cavalry is sat there waiting like a spectre for these guys to rout. There they go. Regiment of Horse can take the lead. You men stop firing. Howitzers aim at the 23rd. You chase them down. The lifeguards hit this unit of engineers. This combat action over here is still going on, but they are losing. Get these men out of square. Form up. So then these men... Run up and form a new line. Uh, Highlanders get involved fighting the engineers. You guys push up as reinforcements. I mean, these guerrillas, they're sat there going, look at look aren't we doing well? But then they get fired upon. And they're a bit buggered. Not too bad. But the regulars are going down. These men are pushing up. Keep chasing down the Swiss pikemen, just because it's always good killing Swiss pikes, because it's it's just so nice to see them fall. My clansmen can chase down the engineers. My lifeguards don't hit the, those chaps, those cavalrymen directly. You guys are doing okay. You're losing a few more men against line cavalry than I'd like, but I guess line cavalry is meant to be a bit sturdier than what you might expect. All of my heavy horse artillery focus fire their general. And all my howitzers. Ah, okay. Howitzers stop firing. Lifeguards attack the carabin. Carabineros Real. You keep chasing them down. And the 42nd Regiment of Foot is attempting to come back into it, but it's not going to work. Too many men to manoeuvre around. Uh, get our artillery. Stop firing. Okay, Field Marshal, don't fire. Don't charge those guys. Hit them with artillery while I get my Field Marshal out of dodge. Well, my lifeguards are wavering. I imagine they took a short range volley. The irregulars are down. Well, soon to be. All of my infantry here. Stop shooting. Artillery. Stop. Lifeguards hit the general's bodyguard. Field Marshal hit the 42nd. This unit of heavy cavalry hit the 23rd. And... The day is good. I'm not bothered about chasing down uh, the cavalry. So it's 
to focus on this unit because they're closest to leaving the field. Yeah, we did good stuff. The pikes have left the left the field at the back there. There you go. Clear out the 42nd. That'll teach you to come back. Ah, a cavalry bug. We ran into the building and we captured it, even though we're cavalry. Nice. Well, there we go. That's taken out. Well, that's significantly damaged the army to the north. Impossible, sir. So, three grand to replenish, so we're not going to replenish. It has impacted our operations against Spain. And uh, looking at the timer, I think it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. And part of the reason why I've ended it now is because if I start the next turn, I'm not going to record the next episode. So if I end turn and then save it, I lose all of these handy little widgets. So we're not, you know, if I hit end turn, they load up, all the widgets load up, then I save it. They're not there when I load the game up again, so I'll miss things. So yeah, that's why I'm doing it this way around. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Cheers.